all of you know about Mr. Naidu's leadership when it comes to promoting Hyderabad as the IT destination. When you know, in one word, he's infamous for it. It could be the first meeting he had with uh, Mr. Gates. It could be how he got, he hijacked ISB from going to other states and bringing to erstwhile uh, capital of uh, combined Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad. He was known for creating a simple government. And in the last term, between 14 and 19, as we call it, CBN 3.0 was ease of doing business. You know, we got in Kia, HCL is known, Zoho, TCL, Conduit, various other companies, just because we were, fun, you know, we were easy to work with as a state. And now the new mantra of this government is not about ease of doing business, but speed of doing business. And that is why we are all here. And the Honorable Chief Minister has been saying again and again that it's 95 leadership that people are going to see. So we are already, all of us are worried because he's going to start a surprise visit soon. And I'm sure he'll visit schools and keep us all on our toes. The reason I wanted this meeting uh, fundamentally was rather than going after new investments alone, all of you already know about Vishakapat, know about Andhra Pradesh. And against the wind, you, you've invested here. So it's very, very important that we treat you more, we understand your problems, and de bottleneck it. I want to be clear, in the last five years, all of you had a lot of headwind, a lot of issues, and I'm here to resolve those issues. As a government, we believe both development and welfare go together. And if you look at our manifesto, we call it Super 6, the first promise is to create 20 lakh jobs. And in every speech of mine, in every speech of mine in a Padhyatra, I reiterated it. And we are committed to creating jobs. And that is the, one of the primary agenda with which your government is going to work. It's also important that I come here and reiterate our commitment to Vishakhapat. People of Vishakhapatnam have shown great faith on the NDA government. I mean, if you just look at the majorities, I think it's a testimony to that. I was so excited when my team told me that you know, we are going to win with 91,413 votes thereof. I was really excited. We are creating history. That lasted exactly three minutes. Before someone came and told me, boss, Palla is going to beat you. Then comes Beam Lee to beat me. Then I was in the third place across the state. And then, of course, I had a challenge with Bharat during campaign that Guntur will compete with Vizag in terms of majority. And if Vizag people have spoken, we have lost that uh, race. Our commitment is clear to Vishakhapatnam. You have great faith on this government. We will deliver on it. Vishakhapatnam is going to be the financial capital of Andhra Pradesh. No second thought about it. When it comes to IT, you've seen, I've done a lot of work. I had a very short stint, but I did a lot of work. The first thing everyone appreciated was we had a stable IT secretary. And we have a really good IT secretary now also. And we will, we will continue on a promise of decentralized development. We promised it in the past. We will deliver on it. No second thoughts. In terms of the way I look at Vishakhapatnam, I think we have to rebuild. Because the only thing the previous administration built was a beautiful palace, which I get to see. But no grade A IT space has been created. We were not able to create meaningful jobs. All of you with great hopes have invested in Andhra Pradesh. Your incentives have been delayed for no more than five years. Simple things like street lights. I mean, I was shocked when I met few of the representatives from the industry. They said, We've been asking the earlier government, give me street lights, and that was not delivered. I really felt bad. I apologized for it. And I said, we'll deliver on it. Street lights, honestly, is a very small issue that we should be worried about, but, you know, that's the kind of problems that you are dealing with, and we are here to resolve any problem that you have, small or big. As an IT minister, I believe in the power of ecosystem. That is what Hyderabad is today. That is what Bangalore is today. Hyderabad basically rode the wave of Y2K. 
I believe now Vizag can do that with the AI and data centers. If all of you recollect, when I was the IT minister, we created a customized policy back then for Adani's to invest close to $15 billion back then. Now it doesn't mean much in terms of data center. Back then it was huge money. And people were imagining AI, they didn't experience it. Then. But that was the vision with which we worked. We wanted Vishakapatnam to be the data center's AI hub, not, a, not for India but for the world. And you've seen the project also did not move. So they were the first people I called. I said, now let's put timelines for each other and hope, I'm hoping that we will deliver on some good news soon. Apart from that, we are going, the top 10 IT companies, we are already reaching out. The Honorable Chief Minister already had a series of meetings with all the representatives of CI, certain commitments were made. They will be officially announced. I think it will be premature for me to talk about it at this juncture. But our agenda is to rebuild that ecosystem. And I mean, I'm handling HRD, I'm handling IT electronics, I'm handling skill development. So Madam Gar has asked about the end-to-end -end and I think I'm the minister now dealing with it, responsible for it end-to-end -end and we will deliver uh, in terms of creating that vibrancy uh, in Vishakapatnam. We have to ride a wave and that wave is clearly here. It's going to be the data centers and the AI wave. I've already had a series of meetings uh, with people who have a lot of investments in that sector, who have done a lot of work already and who are planning to do a lot of work. Close to $300 billion will get invested in this sector every year for, till the foreseeable future. All of you understand now NVIDIA GPUs are becoming difficult to get. So preferred access has become a big deal. So $300 billion will get invested in the sector every year. And I intend to get the lion's share of that, not only to India, but to Vishakhapatna. AI is here, quantum computing is here, robotics is going to be here tomorrow. All three are our focus areas for Vishakhapatna. It is fundamentally going, next decade is going to fundamentally transform the way we are going to interact across sectors. Even movie making is going to be transformed. The entire legal fraternity, politics, business, healthcare is going to be fundamentally transformed. Education will also be transformed. So we are unable to really understand, get to understand the power of AI. And I believe Andhra should be at the forefront. Already the Honorable Chief Minister has made it very clear that the AI University should come to Andhra Pradesh. Like how ISB was industry-led, we want to create a world-class institute where we'll have center of, centers of excellence across each of the sectors that I spoke about. So that is our commitment and we will deliver on this promise to the state and to Vishakhapatnam.